Uh, <laughs> something that you can say on stage. Um, I haven't, I mean, not, not often that strange. A lot of the time, um, people just want to say hello and like, and hang out and have a drink. Um, yeah. What about the strangest thing they ask you to sign? <laughs> That's body part. <laughs> So, so you can. Uh, how, have, how have you been feeling the Philippines so far? Uh, I've had an incredible time here. Yeah? Um, I've loved it. I've... Um, oh, bless you. You okay? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had a wonderful time. Like, everyone's so welcoming. Yeah. Um, the food's been incredible. Um, just traveling around Manila and seeing the city, and then we're going to go and look at some of the beaches as well. Um, you really should make it a point to check out the beaches of No, I am, I am. We're not just saying it because we live here, but they're really incredible. Yeah, it's, a, it's a wonderful country. We heard you tried balut? Not yet, no. No? No, not yet. I've eaten a lot of pork, I've eaten a lot of vinegar. Um, you don't want to try it? Have you seen it? I tried, I tried like the, the fried pig intestine yesterday. Wow. That, yeah, I didn't that, know at the time what it was. Is that chicharron? Yeah. Chicharron I think that's the one. It was tasty. And, uh, cause, cause Joe was able to see the balloon. It was actually, you, are you familiar what it is? Uh, I've seen photos, yeah. You know, I haven't an, seen it up close. Oh, okay, yeah. it's, it's an egg. Yeah, no, I know. But it's, <laughs> it's not an egg that you're familiar with, where it's like the white and the yellow. You will actually see the bird inside the egg. <laughs> with a beak and feathers. Feathers? No, no, you know, like a little bit of hair, baby hair. And when you bite into it, you will feel like... Oh, no. <laughs> you should try That's it! That's way too much description you know, I mean, To be able to say that you went to the Philippines and ate balut? Yeah... No? Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> so, you know, like, you've been, uh, like, going around and, uh... Can you give us some sort of, like, uh... Because I don't know how much... They tell you guys, but uh, anything to watch for as far as the X-Men franchise is, uh, is concerned? Uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, they're going to carry on making them. Yeah. Um, our involvement at the moment, I'm not sure of. Um, but in theory, yeah, we'll wait and see. Hopefully, I'd love to care, carry on playing the role. Yeah. Because um, I really enjoy, really enjoy playing and, and being with all that cast and crew. So, we'll wait and see. But I have, I have a feeling that there'll be more. Yes, because, you know, because right now they're... The, there are talks of like uh, the new mutants and X Force, and then after that, that's when the next X Men will come out. And uh, you know, I think everyone's just super excited about that. And um, what about like, uh, what, what can you say about the Filipino fans? Because is this your first time in the in the region? Yeah, my first time in the Philippines. Uh, incredible fans, so dedicated and passionate. Um, I'm just. Uh, like, uh, oh, that wasn't for me. <laughs> I think that's that was for me. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, it's been so lovely meeting everyone, um, and and people that have like followed and supported my career since since for like 10, 15 years, and that that means a, a great deal. So thank and you. And it's really crazy. Like when I posted that I, I would get the chance to interview you, you would be surprised. It's not like it's not like mostly X Men. There would be those who. We're fans from Skins. There would be like, you know, fans from War, you know, like um, as uh, Fury Road, from Warm Bodies, from like everywhere. And it's not just X Men. So it's incredible how your fans have followed you through the years. And speaking of fans, uh, we are going to get a couple of you guys to ask your questions. If you have some for Nicholas Holt, we've got this guy to choose. Uh, a couple of questions. Okay, so let's have a, a group feed. Okay, um, yeah, okay, after that. Okay, okay Miss T has a question. She's back. Hello, Raven. Hi. I, I go by Miss Nick now. Uh, I, I want to know how is it like working with Jennifer Rose?
it's, it's, it's kind of very similar to talking to you right now. <laughs> no. yeah, but obviously, she's, she's an incredible actress and great friend, so um, being, being opposite her in scenes is, is incredible. And I think we both had similar experiences in those movies because we were getting painted blue a lot of the time. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, we've got um, another, I don't know how we will choose so many fans out here. Okay, there you go, we've got that, is it the guy or the girl? Oh yeah, the guy, okay, come on over. I think, I think they wrote their question down. <laughs> wow, they are prepared. Okay, the phone kept shutting off. Okay, okay. Hey man. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Take it easy, take it easy. Hi, I'm Enrico Hustaniano. Do you remember my friend Joyce Lara? The one who gave you the marriage certificate yesterday? Yes, we are married. <laughs> well, well, she can't come today, so I will be the one asking the question that we're waiting for. Okay. Will Send you marry her? Choice. I mean, I've already got the certificate, it's already happened. Okay, did you sign it? It's official. Yeah, 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 I've got it at home. Okay. <laughs> I guess that I'll was... swear she is. Like, she's meant to be my wife, and I don't even know where she is. And I think this is the first time that you ever got a proposal by a proxy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she couldn't be here today. But... No, she couldn't be here. She couldn't be bothered. That's how much I really mean. But, her. will you marry her? Okay, so we've got a couple of more questions here. Another fan. Um, Nicholas, what did it feel? What did you feel the first time you you were cast as an X Men? Um, I just I got I got really really excited because as as well I did I did my audition with um, with Jennifer um, and I. And I'd, I'd flown back from Australia, especially for it, where we were meant to be shooting Mad Max, and, and then I thought my audition had gone really badly, so I was in a pretty bad mood. Um, so I was, I was actually really genuinely surprised when I got the role. Um, and then I got super excited, and I changed the, the wallpaper on my phone to the beast, and changed, and changed my ringtone to, uh, to the soundtrack from the cartoon. So I was like a walking advert for X-Men for a little while. <laughs> All right, thank you, Harley. A stigmy Harley. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, one one question here. Okay, we've got three more questions. Um, yes, he's over there. He's over there. Hey, man. Sorry. So, so my next question is: If you were gonna be cast as another X Men member, um, who would you want to be? Any other X Men character? Yes. Um, I would like to play. I mean, Gambit, or I love I love watching what Fast Bender does with Magneto. Um, that's a great role. Nightcrawler's fun. Um, there's so many. There's some, oh, there is Nightcrawler. <laughs> uh, but I think overall I'd stick with Beast. Yeah. All right, so we've got two more. Hello, darling. It's a tough job choosing who to, who to ask. Okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, uh, this question is about Warm Bodies. Yeah. Okay, so recently, the author of Warm Bodies, Isaac Marion, announced that there will be a book two entitled Burning World, which will be released in 2017. So, um, I just want to ask if, is there an ongoing talk or possibility that for a movie adaptation, or, and are you ready to play Human R? <laughs> um, well, first of all, uh, yeah, I know about the book. I haven't read it yet, but um, I've heard it's a really incredible read um, and a great concept and idea behind the story and how to further it. So, yes, if there was if there was potential to make that into a movie, um, it's certainly a character that I had a lot of fun playing and would and would want to play again. Thank you, congratulations for your new movie, Equals. Thank you so much, Oh, thank you. Alright, one last. Oh, three more, three more, okay. Hey, okay, 
My question is, if you're going to portray a female superhero, what would you want to do? Whoa! A female superhero! <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I'd look pretty good in the Psylocke outfit. Oh, uh, she is. Is that, that's probably my size as well, I'll just use that one. <laughs> Alright, so two more. Oh, three more. It's crazy, it's so... Oh, Dear so Do you remember the game that Jennifer Lawrence introduced to you guys? The punching game? Oh, yes. Did you, you know, did you you know about this game? Yes. Where, we, where you do that, and if, if someone looks at it, you get to hit them. Yes. Yeah. Um, did you find it fun? I, I found it really fun. It, it, it got very intense very quickly, because we were all very competitive. Um, I remember after we filmed Days of Future Past, James McAvoy sent me a picture about a week, a week after filming had finished, and his whole arm was purple and bruised and swollen from how hard people had been hitting him. It's a fun game though, but be careful if you're playing it. Alright, so we've got three more. Okay, we just need to find... Okay, it's on this side. Who's, who's, uh... Where's the mic? Oh, there, okay, there. We have one right there. We can't seem to see you. Okay, hello. That's your favorite. Sorry? What's your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream? Ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor? I'd go Neapolitan. Okay. Your, your hat's really cool. 